everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Amber. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this big old bun using a sock. So when I was searching for some socks, which uh, I stole my husband's, um, it made me think of feet. Oh, feet to me are kind of gross. Um, but it made me think of a story of Alana and when she stepped on a toothpick. So I was vacuuming and had my earbuds in, so I, I couldn't hear anything. Um, and so Alana was in there in the room with me, and somehow this toothpick was standing upright in the carpet and she stepped right on it. So she was screaming and I couldn't hear a thing. I was bebopping to my music. Yeah. So finally I stopped vacuuming and I think I finally heard her and I look and I'm just like, ah! I'm panicking because this thing's sticking out of her foot. And so I go to grab the toothpick and I, I try pulling it and it's stuck. It's not coming out. And I'm just like, oh, so I'm yelling, Josh, emergency, because he was, he was upstairs and he didn't hear me. So I had to run up the stairs and get him and I'm like, panicking, emergency, emergency. So he comes down and he just grabs the toothpick and of course for him, it just boop, slid right out. Um, and yeah, so she was bleeding and had a good story to tell of stepping on that big old toothpick. So I have a story similar to that as well, because of course, she's my twinsie, she's my mini me. Everything that happens to me seems to happen to her as well. Um, but my mom was vacuuming and I had a cat in my lap, so I'm petting this cat, it's purring, life's great. And something scared the cat and it kind of swatted and its claw went into my lip and it got stuck. So the cat's trying to pull its arm out and it's not coming, so it's yanking all oh, I'm trying to hold it back and trying to get it out. And I, it's not working. I can't get it out. So I'm screaming, Mom! And I'm crying and panicking. She can't hear a thing. She's just over there vacuuming. And I'm still screaming with this cat stuck in my lip. And I'm starting to think that this cat is gonna be stuck to my lip for the rest of my life. Um, and I'm gonna die that way, but Eventually I did get it out and it was blood running out and ended up getting a scar, but that was traumatic, let me tell ya. So tip of the day, when your mother is vacuuming, run, run fast. Do not be in the same room as your mother because bad things could happen and your mom, she ain't gonna hear you. All right. So if you want to see this bun in action and how I got this thing on the top of my head, then sit on back, relax, have a laugh, and I hope you enjoy this video. So you're going to need a sock, some scissors, a hair tie, a brush, and of course, hairspray. So here I am. Showing off my hair, showing off how long and thick my hair is. So I'm working on getting my hair into a ponytail. So you want the ponytail high on your head. Now you're going to take some scissors and cut the toe part off of the sock. Now you're going to start rolling the sock outwards and down and you just keep going and going and going until you have it in a donut. So now you're going to pull your hair up, grab the donut. And 
put it over the end of your hair. And now you're gonna fold over the ends of your hair over the sock donut. So I'm grabbing the hair, kind of folding it over, and then you're gonna start rolling the sack. So you're kind of rolling and tucking the hair under and then kind of pushing the hair underneath, kind of through the middle part of the donut. So kind of, kind of roll, push, roll, push. And you can see, oh, it's, it's turning out big. It's turning out messy, but I'm still trying to make it look good. Still rolling and there it is. So now I'm still trying to dink around with it, trying to make it look a little nicer than a big old sloppy bun on my head, trying to pull it out, trying to make it more look rounder. So here's the top view of the bun and the back view, again, very big, kind of sloppy. There it is. So now I'm going to take some corkscrew bobby pins and try to pin down the bun, try to hold it down and make it look slightly better. And of course, you always need hairspray. So now I'm going to try the bun again. I'm going to try and flat iron that big old frizzy thick hair and try to make it more sleeker, more smoother, more straighter, and see if that makes the bun come out any better. Okay, so now my hair is all nice and straight. Try number two, doing the same thing. Putting it on the very end, pulling the hair over the donut. And now I'm rolling and tucking, rolling and tucking, rolling and tucking, rolling and tucking, and it still looks big and messy. So what are your thoughts on this bun? Do you like buns this big? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I haven't decided yet if I really like it. I will say, though, that this thing is easy to make. Um, it was kind of hard for me to use. Um, it's hard to maneuver of, you know, twisting it down and twisting your hair along with it and tucking it. I just have so much hair that it, it made it hard. But, I mean, look at that. It definitely makes your hair big. Um, if you haven't seen my video, how to make a bun without a donut, go check that out. But you will see that my bun is way smaller. It's probably like this size, but using a sock, boom, it's big. So if you like a bun like this, give it a try and see how it works for you. All right, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and share it with all your friends. And as always, have a blessed day. Remember Jesus loves you and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.